Lionfish acquired. Slow-mo shot, boom. It's one of my many super stupid human tricks I can do. Now this is the invasive lionfish and people always ask, do we get the small ones? And there's your answer. We get any size of lionfish because they are all invasive and they all need to go. So we try our best to get as many as possible. Sometimes when we're out there, we come along a couple of sharks. This is a nice little bull shark here. I saw a bunch of bull sharks that day. They were kind of following some groupers in, which was kind of weird, because usually I don't see a lot of groupers, but there was just this patch of them that came in. That's in our next video. Here we go, we're looking for a nice lionfish. Boom, oh, air ball. Now this guy evaded me a few times. Third time was the, sh the charm. And as you can see here, the uh, pull spear, this is how it looks. You got the pull that goes up, and at the end, you've got this rubber band. So I grab a hold of the rubber band, I put it between my thumb and my forefinger, and I stretch it out, and then I grab a hold of the pole, and then I release, and that's what shoots the spear. Nice little sock puppet here, or otherwise known as a meat puppet. That was a super cute one. Look at all the life on this particular rock. Fish everywhere. People say, you know, why, what's going on? Why are these fish so bad for the environment? Or do they eat the coral reef? They don't actually eat coral reef. What they do is they're not from around here. So they don't have any predators. That's the number one problem. Check out all these nurse sharks. That guy tried to get in on this little love fest and couldn't fit in there on this napping area. So if left unchecked, lionfish will multiply to so many and they will just move from area to area, eating all of the fish in the area. And once you remove all of the smaller fish, then you don't have any predators. This big fat mm. pregnant grouper, cute little red grouper. If there's no food for the predators to eat, and there's, then they're not gonna be around. And then if there's no fish to clean, then the cleaner fish won't be around. And pretty soon it's just a desolate reef. And without fish, a reef will die. So it ends up killing the reef. It doesn't have to eat it to kill it. It just puts it in a position to where it will fail. And that's what happens if we just leave these fish alone. If we weren't killing these fish for the past umpteen years, it's been, you know, 30, 40 years, uh, people probably started killing them well over 20 years ago. If no one was doing that, if no one was killing them, there wouldn't be any fish left by this time. And it doesn't take very long for the numbers to get out of control again. Here's a gorgeous little spot. Look at all these barrel sponges. Nice rock beauty. Oh wow, look at that trunk fish. So much life. And those cute little groupers. Take a look at these guys. These guys are just little coral groupers. Look at the colors on that guy, super pretty. All right, and this angelfish was super cute. I don't know what he's doing here. He's just taking a little nap. <laughs> now that's a queen angelfish. And hanging out here with his little lobster friend. Our lobsters over here are a little bit different. They don't have big old claws. They just simply have long spines and that's why they're called spiny lobsters. And they use those spines to protect themselves from you know things that might wanna come and eat them. Look at this guy, so majestic. Boom, people say, oh, they're so beautiful. I, I hate that people have to kill them. And I do too, I don't, I don't want to have to kill them. I love to visit them over in the South Pacific and I look at the native ones and I, I watch them eat and I, I enjoy their company and it's so cool. They're just, I can, I'm just mesmerized by them. I'll sit there and watch all the 14 different species of lionfish. Look at that red piece of coral. Isn't that crazy how much that stands out? A little sideways shot here, boom, nailed him. And over here, I just wanna kill them as soon as I can before they get any more of my little friends. Uh, people say, oh, they're so pretty, so don't kill them. Well, they have a spot where they live and it's thousands of miles away and that's where they're supposed to be. So there's plenty of them. We're not making them extinct over there, just here where they need to go. We're not trying to kill all lionfish. Lionfish aren't that bad uh, for the environment where they're from. They're actually one with their environment. Over here, they're not. They're desperately out of control. They have, having no predators and having a situation where nothing knows you are a predator is a really bad situation. It puts you in a spot where 
you know, you're going to be a very powerful creature on the reef. And in fact, lionfish are the number one predator on our Florida reefs and throughout the Caribbean. The sharks don't stand a chance. Look at that piece of glow. It's amazing. Looks like somebody threw one of those little neon bouncy balls down there, but that's actually coral. It's a hard coral. It's pretty cool. Now, people say, does this hurt the fish? Look at all these. I'm, I've gotten this question probably 4,675 times, most likely. And, uh, you know, fish feel pain. Lionfish, for example, have venom. So venom causes pain, and that deters creatures from eating them. So if fish didn't feel pain, then why would they administer pain uh, as a warning? So it's pretty much a no-brainer. People say, oh, fish don't feel pain. Yep, they feel pain. But I think people are writing that, half of them, as a joke. And maybe a part of these people are maybe actually just curious. Maybe they don't know the answer to that. But I think people think they're being cute. But it's actually one in every ten questions on my on my comments is that, do lionfish feel pain? It's It's getting a little old. But hey, keep on asking. I'm sure somebody will get an answer that didn't have one before. Look at this guy. Who do you think he is? Everyone's seen. If you follow mine, you've seen tons of these. That's a big old slab. That is a hogfish. They have a great big mouth, kind of like a hog does. It opens up really wide, and they use it to sift through the sand and look for little crabs and crustaceans and things like that to eat. And those are bright yellow pork fish. And, of course, one of our beautiful blue angel fish. Or was that a queen? I couldn't quite tell that quick. And uh, moray eels are pretty prominent over here. We have the green one, which is the most prominent eel on our reefs. And then it would probably be the spotted moray. And then down to uh, this cute little guy called the sharp tail eel, the spotted sharp tail. I just want everyone to know, everyone can do this. Just go get your diving certification and start getting good at diving. And then you can come over here, boom. And you can hunt lionfish, just like a Lionfish Extermination Corporation, just like Alex and I. The number of divers in the world has been going down instead of up, so we need to get those numbers up so we can have people for the future to keep this going and to keep eradicating this invasive species. So we appreciate you guys supporting us, and maybe one day you can be a lion slayer yourself. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.